Hey, this is Borns. You're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'm so excited to be joined by Garrett, aka Borns. Hello, Hello, Alicia. Good to see you again. You too. How are you doing? So good. I I'm drinking spa water. Spa water. Out of a Coors Light cup. <laughs> Yeah. Living it up today at Wayham. Living yeah, it up. It's nice. <laughs> well, I just yeah. want to say congratulations on hitting 100,000 likes on Facebook. I feel like so much has happened oh, since we first spoke. Yeah. Lots of thumbs up, I guess, right? <laughs> that's, that's good affirmation. Well, you were recently in Sweden, Russia, and Germany. I know it's been a crazy summer yeah. for you with all of these festivals. How was it yeah. over there? Um, let's see. Scandinavia, it was beautiful. We played a festival in Aarhus. Uh, with um, Mumford and Sons, which was very fun. Marcus is a dear friend and has become a dear friend and has been so gracious to us. Um, let's see, we played in Copenhagen, which was very fun. I got my nails painted. Kind of an aqua, aquamarine color. Is that kind of what I... This is actually the, the last bit of it. We're almost I'm, matching. Oh, that's nice. So close. This is a little more just like fish scale. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, a festival in Sweden, which is fun. And then Russia was just uh, wild. Um, we played a show there at this club called 16 Tons. And it was just... It was, it was kind of out of a dream. I, have you ever been to Russia? I or? have not. No, it's... It's another world over there. It's beautiful. Um, so, yeah, it was f very fun. With all the touring you've been doing, because you mentioned before the camera started rolling, you've been touring since our interview in October. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself buying trinkets or souvenirs while on the road? Uh, yeah. Um, I buy postcards sometimes. Occasionally forget to, for to forget to send them out. I always write them, stamp them, even address them, but I somehow never find a post box <laughs> i need to find a carrier pigeon or something yeah you know um i try to yeah i try to get some trinkets on the road just for like family for christmas time mm -hmm. um yeah 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 i i i, I I'm, o I'm always in like in a i'm using like a suitcase for like four months of tour so i'm like i can't get too much stuff yeah because it's always like trying to close it at the end of tour between just getting like silk shirts from fans get a lot of blouses and stuff fans are giving you those as gifts now yeah yeah oh that's very cool yeah it's really nice it's like i have stylists on the road now <laughs> so they're getting it yeah what's one of your other favorite fan gifts other than the uh shirts you've been getting um i got a large box of like handmade uh chocolates yesterday it was like this very strange, very long, it looked like a two by four. And I'm like, what on earth could be in there? And it was kind of strange to open, but once you open it, there was all of these chocolates lined up with these numbers on them. And then there was like a, a list of kind of what was Which, in each chocolate. Yeah. But they were all like handmade, like very meticulously like put together. Those are amazing. It's a very fine gift. Yeah. So yeah. I have a lot of those. Um, socks. I get a lot of socks. Uh, yeah. Lots of just like women's shirts <laughs> that they want me to wear. I'm like, is this your mother's? I'll wear it. You'll wear it. Yeah. That's good in the end. Yeah. Well, on the music front, Dopamine dropped last year. And I know we really yeah. focused on it in our last interview. So I'm curious, what is next on the music front for you? Music front. I've been working on some stuff on the road. Um, it's all top secret and and just me being weird, getting weird. Getting weird. But uh, but yeah, I'm actually I have two mo two like two more months of tour and um, and then I'm getting back in the studio uh with Tommy English who I did dopamine with, and we're gonna work on the next stuff. It's exciting. Yeah, we have some demos in the works, which is cool stuff. We're we're definitely. It's definitely going to be. Somewhere. It's definitely going to be different, for sure. But yeah. So it's exciting. You know, kind of what direction and vibe you want to take this new material. I think so. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. But speaking of new material, you did a cover of Zayn's "It's You" recently. Mm. It was such a groovy cover. But oh, thanks. But you kind of flip it around. If you could have any artist put their spin on one of your tracks, which artist would you love to see do that? Um, maybe Haim. I love the Haim girls. 
I almost got, they almost ran me over with their golf cart yesterday at, De- at the Detroit Festival. And then we like bumped into each other at the Canadian border. It's always a good time seeing those girls. They're here today, so you might see them. They're here today. Yeah. Um, so those are, they're, they're insanely talented. And I would be honored if they ever reiterated something that I wrote because I take inspiration from them. So, yeah. We were talking about the blouses you wear before. Uh-huh. But you clearly have an awesome fashion sense. But when you look oh, back, thanks. you're very welcome. When you look back at things you would wear growing up, is there anything you look at where you were maybe a little embarrassed or very, you know, excited about when you look back? Yeah. I mean, yeah, everything. <laughs> I was embarrassed. About- no, I mean, I don't know. I would just wear, I was pretty fearless as a, a young chap. Okay. And uh, I loved wearing weird shit. It was just fun, you know? I would just go out go out to dinner with my parents dressed up in a character or something. I just want to run into a little quick fire round with you. Quick fire. Quick fire round. Okay, I'm ready. You ready for this? Yes, I think so. If you could trade places with an artist for a day, which artist would that be? Trade places? Yes. Does that mean like I'm in their bus, eating their food, sleeping on their bus? Absolutely. Whoa. Uh, trade places with somebody. <clears throat> um... I mean, I've I've always been pretty interested in what it'd be like to be Justin Bieber. Okay. Just cause uh, that dude. There's that's a dude right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What a wild life, right? Yeah. I mean, you can you can pretty safely say nobody else in this world has a, the life like Justin Bieber, like for better or for worse. It's like, yeah. So. So you'd like to give that. And a I go. would just like to you know, see what it's like to be that like ripped and sexy. <laughs> So, oh wait, no, I'm not embodying him. I'm just living his life. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, but am I walking around and people are like Justin, but I look like me? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. If you like the other scenario better, let's let's run with that. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and for the next one, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? That I've ever eaten? Um. Um. On purpose? Um. Oh gosh, I don't know. I mean, I. I eat weird things all the time, but weird things that like grow from the earth. I've eaten some weird things that have made me see some things. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. Occasionally. Occasionally. That's good for the soul. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, just to wrap things up, is there anything you want to say to all of the Bournes fans who will be viewing? Any parting words? Um, yes. Uh, thank you for um, constantly pushing the weirder button for me um pushing me to my you know my my full full capacity of weirdness uh thank you to who whoever threw the nipple tassels on stage at the show (laughs) in chicago um those will uh will will take good care of those yeah and we'll probably come out some show but yeah much love to all of you stay hydrated spa water 2016 Cheers. Beautiful parting words. Cheers. Thank you very much for your time today. Good to see you. Thanks for talking to me. My pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time.